bringing you the latest information on medicine, psychology, diagnosis, treatment, and prevention. Major medical advances are made each week, and each week the American Health Journal keeps you up to date. Hello and welcome to this edition of the American Health Journal. I'm your host, Roger Cooper. Today's program features six reports covering a wide range of medical specialties. First up, for people who are morbidly obese, a new, less invasive type of bariatric surgery is available. Next, we'll visit a center that helps cancer patients maintain their self-image during treatment and recuperation. Then, fetal echocardiography allows doctors to see congenital heart abnormalities with great detail, making diagnosis more accurate. Also, important information about high blood pressure, also known as the silent killer. We'll show you how to find out if you're at risk. Later, acid reflux disease, simply heartburn, or could it lead to cancer? And finally, two and a half million Americans are living with epilepsy. We'll report on the newest treatment now on the American Health Journal. Obesity is becoming an epidemic in America. For the morbidly obese, bariatric surgery has been successful in helping patients achieve and maintain a healthy weight. As we learn from Dr. David Davtian of the Beverly Hills Weight Loss Medical Centers, a new laparoscopic procedure promises safe and effective results with less risk of complications. A lab band was uh, invented in the United States uh, approximately in early 80s, but unfortunately went on ignored for uh, about a decade until in 92. Belgian surgeons uh, first used it to uh, induce weight loss and to try to fight off obesity, which, as you know, is now becoming an epidemic plaguing not only the United States, but the entire world. And what it consists of, uh, it consists of a band which is placed around the stomach, around the upper part of the stomach, to restrict the access of food to the stomach, which is uh, the band is then connected to a subcutaneous port, which is this part, which is placed under the skin on the anterior abdominal wall, where it is, though not visible, easily palpable. So uh, these two components are connected to each other through a catheter, which you see here, uh, thus enabling the physician to uh, control the size of this band by injecting fluid into this port. The band wraps around the stomach. The outer surface of the band is fairly rigid, but the inner surface is inflatable. By inflating the inner surface, you can reduce the inner diameter and thus make it tighter and tighter, cinch it down around the stomach, creating a very asymmetric hourglass, if you can imagine, where uh, once food fills up the upper part of the hourglass, it takes a long time to empty into the lower uh, part of the stomach, thus taking away the feeling of hunger, controlling, uh, uh, sat inducing early satiety, and thus inducing uh, weight loss. The nicest thing about the lab band, it does not involve cutting any vital organ. There is no suturing, there is no stapling, there is no cutting or rearranging of the native God created normal anatomy. What is nice about the lab band is that the lab band involves a small dissection around the stomach. Uh, in good hands, lab band should take one hour or less as far as a procedure. And uh, the results are very good. Patients go home uh, either the same evening or the following morning and uh, they can return to work in two to three days. Tammy is one of my first patients who has lost 70 pounds by now and she's going to continue losing weight until she comes close to her ideal body weight and she's also very happy with those results. I went into the hospital. I had it done. Two and a half days I was out. I had three or four more days. I went back to work. Within about a week, two weeks, everybody started coming up. My face started getting slender. Um, you could just tell that I was changing. My stomach started going down and people started noticing that I was losing weight. And they really didn't know how until I started telling them about the, the surgery. 
One of the other advantages of the uh, lab band, other than it is a reversible procedure with no permanent uh, restructuring of the normal anatomy, is also the fact that it is adjustable. And the adjustments are usually done in the office setting by injecting or withdrawing fluid from the band by accessing it through with a needle through subcutaneous port. By having a band myself, I have perfected the tuning of the band uh, to the maximum where I can predict how much volume of injectate is going to be just the right for this person to control their tightness so that it's good enough, meaning that they're still losing weight, but it's loose enough that they still can enjoy good food. You're watching the award-winning American Health Journal.